in your paper pack, you will find this print. We're going to turn it sideways. We're going to measure over seven and three quarters and cut. Once you've done that, measure over five and three eighths and cut. This one here gets glued down right here. We're going to cut for this one. We're going to measure over five and one eighth and cut. We're going to apply glue to that and we're just going to place it here. If you'd rather turn it over to this side, you can definitely do that. And then we'll burnish that down. We're next, before we do the, the top part of this, we're going to install the bottom flip and top flip because we have those pre-cut still. We'll just fold these out of the way. We'll open it back up. Let's grab our bottom flip and we are going to fold on those score lines. This one is going to come all the way to the bottom so it will clear this. Here's your bottom score line. I should probably be a little more specific. We're going to bring that all the way down there. So once that is down, these should still be able to fold in. Okay? Because this is going to come in and that's going to come in. And then we'll cover up the lips. And it can also serve as a little tuck. So, bottom flip, bring it all the way down in between those score lines evenly here and here lined up with the bottom ledge of your white cardstock and burnish. Okay, let's get our top flip. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to come to the very top of our folio with this and it will clear these. So take this, your bottom one, flatten it out because it's going to help you stay straight and bring it to the very top, having it folded back. So I think that's pretty straight there. Now I just got to make sure I'm at the very top of my folio with that. And I am. I should probably maneuver this just a little bit better here. There. We're going to burnish and burnish here. Let's get for here. In your reserves you will have this piece. This long one we want. So we're going to trim off. We can hand cut it and come down so the light purple gets taken off and then we'll cut like that just like we did before and I accidentally tore my paper so I'm gonna get this detached and I will show you exactly what it should look like this is what yours should look like now down here full put, put up your your waterfall and we're gonna center this right over our hinge and lavender should be right in the center somewhere. And we're going to measure to fit. And we'll come over to the side of our decorated paper. Make a pencil mark here and here. We're going to cut. When we apply glue, we're going to get the sides and only the bottom so we can still tuck something in there and we'll come down make sure that this part does not interfere with that upper score line and we will burnish up here in your reserves you will have this piece it is one and a quarter inches by seven and three quarters. 
we're going to measure over six inches and cut. So once you do that, we're going to measure over three quarters and cut. Let's apply glue and we're going to glue that down and it matches in with our side pieces really well. If you'd rather have that, that would actually look really good too. So it's up to you, whichever, whichever side that you would like. I'm going to go with the one that matches over there, but the other one looks really good too. So it's just according to your taste. And we'll bring it up over that without getting on the score line. Leave a good sixteenth of an inch away. So what ha what's going to happen is this comes in, this comes down over the top, then these are what come over this way. So we'll work with this and this for now, and then we'll do the other. In your reserves, you will find this print. On the back, it looks like this. This is about four and a quarter, and that'll be perfect for us. What I'd like you to do is just measure over five and three quarters and cut. Once you do that, you can center that right on in there. You can bring it up to where you have maybe an eighth of an inch away from that bottom score line. So you're going to have more white showing down here, but that's okay because we have something for that. We're using up pieces that can be used because these are large panels and like I said, we're going to need both these paper packs to complete this. Back on this sheet, what we're going to do, and we can put this on our paper cutter to even us up, but we're going to take off this little trim piece. Let's stick this on our paper cutter and trim around it so it's nice and straight. So I've got mine trimmed up. We're going to place this right down and it should be a perfect fit. That worked out well for us. Okay, let's scoot this down. We're going to get up here. In your reserves you should have this and this is 4 inches by 12 inches. Measure over 7 and 3 eighths and cut. I'm going to pull this down so you can actually see what we're doing here. If you were to place this and kind of center, you'll have a white border here and you'll have this uh, white border before you get to there. Just lay that down. Remember these? These are what we set off to the side. We're going to measure over seven and three eighths and cut. If you were just to bring that over and lay that, it looks like it was part of the paper. And the, no one will ever know we seen two together to get the most out of our stuff. It looks good. So we're gonna, I'm going to center it there and there, leaving a nice white border. And we're going to glue this down over the top. All right. I think that looks wonderful. Okay, we're going to fold this over and we are going to get paper for that in your reserves and we're going to do the same thing that we did down, down here. You should have this piece and it's now six and a quarter inches and it's four and a quarter inches. Measure over five and three quarter and cut. Alright, let's add some glue to this. And when I place it, I'll place it towards the top there. Leave myself a white lip. And I'm going to burnish that down. We're going to need to detach, I think, but we're going to uh, put that in reserves and this bottom piece and we're going to do exactly what we did down here with that. So let's put it on our paper cutter and trim around it. I've got mine done and we will place it right there. 
that looks wonderful. We're going to pull this down in your paper pack you will find this. Let's put this on our paper cutter and we're going to just divide this panel from that. So this is what you should have. Put that in your reserves. Now what we're going to do is we will cut down this way and then we will cut this panel out and then we'll put that in our reserves. I'll show you mine. So I've got this cut out. You will notice that this will fit side to side, giving a what? A nice border. However, the problem is, is that it's too long. So what I want us to do is put this back on our paper cutter and just cut off this top part and I will show, it, show you what mine looks like. I've cut it down. I'm going to place it, leaving that white border on each side and I'm leaving a white border up here. Now I'm going to come down here because I can see where the bottom of that panel is and I'm going to come up just a little bit up from that, make a pencil mark, and I'm going to cut. So my panel should look like this now and when I place it over there and kind of center it, it's going to look like that and I love it. Let's, unless you'd rather have that side up but I love, I'm going to have the other one. And that looks really good. I'm going to flatten this down while I burnish and I'll clean up any glue that I see that's kind of getting out the side. You can push that and you can pull this one back up so it's flat. And we have that. And it looks really good. So let's pull in this side and we're going to get to this. We are almost done with this folio. In your paper pack you will find another one of these and on the back it is the polka dots. Let's turn it this way. We're going to measure over seven and three quarters and cut. Next we're going to measure over five and one eighth and cut. Flip it over and we're going to glue that down, center it right on in there. And we're going to need the other piece to this. I do know that because we'll be using this side on the other panel. So again, we're working with this side. Okay, got that down. Close that up. Grab this back out of your reserves. We just cut on it, measure over five and one eighth and cut. We're going to glue that right on down, center it in there. Now grab this back out of reserves. Let's trim to separate these two. What we're going to do is cut out and around the heart and then what we're going to do is mount that onto white cardstock and we'll cut out and around that. So I'll show you what mine looks like as soon as I'm done. So I've cut mine out and now all I have to do is mount this down to some white cardstock and cut out and around it. Here is mine. I've backed it to the white cardstock and we're going to place that right there. And we're also going to just do glue on the bottom and we're going to get a picture mat back behind there. But that's okay, we're going to get this on first. So we want to get the bottom under here. We want to get these and straight across. So it's a little tuck. This is not on the pre-cutting guide, so I'd like you to cut a piece of cardstock that is 3 and 7 eighths by 5 inch. In your reserves, you will find this piece. On the back, it's the cover. We're going to measure over four and three quarters and cut. So we're four and three quarters this way. Let's turn it. We're going to measure over three and five eighths and cut. Let's see how that looks. That should match pretty much what's over there. And this is going to look good. So we'll glue that down to our mat here, center it in there. 
Now this will not be a tuck like this one uh, because we already have a tuck right up front and you can get your picture back behind. But all we're going to do is go with something like this and and uh, so that you're able to get your picture back behind and try to stay even with what you did over here. So this one gets glued down completely. And I'm going to look to see what I did over there, but these are different sizes, so just kind of eyeball it the best you can just to get it on pretty straight there. Oh boy, <laughs> this looks awesome. Panel three is done. We're moving on to panel four. We're also going to get our paper cut for the inside spine and we'll get something to cover up that. We'll figure it out. And you don't even have to cover that if you don't want to. All right, we're moving on. In your paper pack, you will find one of these. On the back, it is this. Let's turn our paper. We're going to measure over eight inches and cut. Okay, our first cuts. We're going to measure over one and a quarter and cut. We'll measure over again one and a quarter and cut. Okay, I have mine. Now, check to make sure before we apply glue that your piece is going to fit in between these two. And you're going to center that top and bottom so you'll be able to have white trim up here and here. Mine fits. If yours if you put yours, uh, your hinges on a little too narrow and you do need to trim just a little off, do so. But otherwise, let's glue that down. Here's my other one, and that should definitely fit on the wider side of that. So we're going to glue that one down. Grab this back out. We're going to measure over two and three eighths and cut. This piece here should fit right in this larger panel piece right here. So let's get those all glued down and then let's figure out if we can find something to cover that up. I have an idea what I'd like to do. While I'm thinking about what I want to do over here, open this up and grab this back out. We're going to get for here. I'm going to measure over a half inch and cut. Now I may have to cut that down a little bit, but I'm going to try that. So try your piece before. If it fits in there without getting on your score lines, go for it. Otherwise trim off just a little bit more. And we'll get this down. I like these little trim pieces in here. got outside there. Now this part here on the side I am going to cut. Oh that one I'm going to try a half inch as well right along here. So I'm going to measure over a half inch and cut. I'm not sure if I got that exactly at a half inch but let's see. I did. So I'm going to glue this piece right here but I've got to cut it down so it's going to be a little bit too long and I'm just going to grab my scissors on this and give a snip. And then it should work pretty good there. So that's all you need to do is just trim it down to fit. There we go. That looks pretty good. Okay, I have one over here and I'm going to do the same thing on this side. And I'm just going to place it down and I'll trim it as well. I need to trim off just a bit up here. I love this paper, it's so pretty. And just these final touches just really add something to. My idea for right here. 
Now in the paper pack, we have this. I'm gonna cut out this panel. If you would like to wait to see if it works or not, then hang tight, okay? Um, that way you don't waste cutting this out when you don't need to, because I'm not really sure if this is gonna fit over the magnet area. So I'll be right back. So what I ended up doing is cutting out this whole image. And I'm gonna see if this works, just to help take away some of the white. And it looks like it will partially cover that magnet, and it will come over to the side like that, and I think that's perfectly accept acceptable. I'm going with it. It's not gonna cover the magnet completely, otherwise I'm gonna be off over the side there, but it's gonna be enough and it's gonna look good. I think so, and it's gonna come over here too. So I'm gonna bring this over as far as I can without going over the edge. What do you think? I think that that will work. I can also do something up here. This, we could always cut that out and hang it right there. I don't know how it would look. It may look good. All we can do is try. So I'm going to cut one of these out. Actually, I'll probably cut both of them out and see which one that I like best. And probably go, might go with a little bit of the pink to pick up in there to break up some of the purple. So I will do this and then you can see and decide. And I will decide if this fits right over there and if it's what I want to do. It's all according to taste. And I might want to just save this for inside my pocket or something like that. So I just don't know. But I was eyeballing something else. So if I cut this out and decide not to use it right here. But that would fill in pretty nicely right over here, wouldn't it? Wow, that does look kind of good to me. I'm going to cut this one out now so that you can get an uh, idea. All right, so I'm going to lay this out so you can see. We do have some pinks up through here and here. So there's that idea. And then here is the little purple one, which probably will look really good too with the rest of the purples. I don't know, guys. What do you think? I'm going to go with the purple. I'm going to save the pink one. And I'm going to go with the purple. I'm going to do that right there. This is a great place to label what's in the album or stick something over here. This is very narrow though, but I think without going over, I can get this shimmy over pretty good. And the pink looks pretty good too. I mean, it picks up the pinks that are over here, but I'm just going to be kind of boring and do the purple. Our folio is complete. And what's nice about this is, of course, we, we're not doing picture mats together. Um, everyone has their own size and taste to their picture mats. But what's nice about this folio is it holds a lot of photographs. And it's very easy to put back together. I mean, once you have it out, you can just flip, flip, and it goes back together. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. It wasn't too long. There was a lot of cutting, but we got it done. Happy crafting, everyone, and I will see you on my next tutorial. And be sure to, to subscribe if you haven't done so.